Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is going to be a reading for the sign of Taurus. Taurus, my readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted. Also, Taurus, if you wish to donate towards my channel, all the links are in the description box down below. So first card coming out, we have the hangman. So in limbo, waiting, thinking about something. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, Taurus. All right, I don't know why your cards feel super duper stiff right now. Okay. giving me like a suck feeling why, why what okay hold on let's loosen up okay hold on let's see let's give us Taurus a card because okay now you're just giving too many cards all right <laughs> asking you shall receive okay so Taurus you must need to ask for something in order for you to receive something all right we got a page of wands out here excited about love excited about life following your own path the traveler card being very passionate and creative about something. Experiencing life for what it is. Trying something new. And also trying to figure out your purpose. So trying to figure out where your direction. What's your new direction? What do you do? What do you need to do? Alright. So that you could be in deep thought about something. Also childhood nostalgia. Six of Cups energy there. Reflecting on your past. And getting connected with your inner kid, being sentimental and feeling positive. So trying to find your life's purpose, where you need to go. And also, it's almost like a demonstration is the word I'm hearing. A demonstration of, uh, what is the demonstration? So something from per demonstrating something. So is that from like work? So maybe you having to do a demonstration, but I'm getting something about your life being a demonstration. So maybe people paying attention to you. Either way, something about a demonstration. I don't know. Maybe you know, because I don't. I'm not getting whatever that would even why that what that means. Um, we have a Knight of Pentacles here, Taurus. Okay, so let's see. We got somebody here over here that tells it like it is. So then you're talking about something about a demonstration. So, and I don't, it's almost giving me the feeling like somebody trying to make you feel some type of way. Because what, the childhood innocence being there, like somebody trying to sun you, that's what I'm getting. Making you a... a like a display or a debauch debauchery, debacle, something. I don't know, but something that was messed up is what it seemed like. But because y'all got a heavy energy of somebody trying to tell you something, somebody trying to tell you what to do, um, somebody being very overbearing is what I'm gathering. You got two queens here, queen of swords, queen of cups. So some type of competition, some type of battle between maybe you and a higher up or you and somebody that is same level as you, but trying to act like they're above you. That's what it is, because this person's on the same level as you. Both of y'all are queens, but somebody basically trying to, and, and it could be a male energy, so just, it could be some man bitch energy. Don't take it like that, but take it like that. Um... Some type, something that's very catty, but standing your ground, um, some type of uh, conflict, confusion, um, discord, people not listening to each other is what that's giving me. But it's almost like somebody trying to put something on display. Um, yeah, weird ass energy, but okay. Now we got the ace of swords here mental energy clarity so somebody trying to outwit you or you trying to outwit somebody else um clear thinking clear, clear plans um seeing things without being emotional so like knowing what you're going to do um but not 
letting somebody else know and i'm not taking all these cards that's a lot of them all right so um getting a new idea as to what's happening with this you know situation um and seeing a direction like oh something coming out of nowhere oh i know what to do pertaining to this person but again i'm getting out smart out wit um still more of a conflict battle type of energy i don't know why it's just this reading is giving me something that i don't like some type of energy that i don't like all right so we got a three of swords and we also have a star here so a vision a direction which is what i just said a minute ago clear thinking knowing what to do and aha um also more of confusion type energy um betrayal somebody talking about you somebody staring up trouble third party interference some type of could be a separation so you may be getting let go from your job or you may have separated from your job you may also be separating from a person place or thing okay but either way it's giving me heavy job vibes um work related uh that's what it's giving me because that's like a conflict between oh okay so i don't know if this is somebody actually that's on your job pertaining to because then i got like some personal shit so somebody in your personal in your personal business when we work here okay you're not my friend i don't want to be your friend why are you running down my personal shit my personal life and again this is not giving me like a boss type energy this is giving okay now love is here so somebody definitely in your personal business um two of cups energy uh somebody that's just in your business so they done went beyond where y'all have like a um what do you call that uh work related relationship now they done went to some other shit but a partnership, mutual attraction, friendships, things that are meant to be, soul bonds, people who are coming together to help you become a better person. So somebody may be standing up for you too that also is there, but for some reason it's giving me technically, like I said, the vibe that this person, whoever this person is at work, don't kind of cross over into your personal business. Trying to get maybe entirely too close to you, maybe have maybe came off as a friend, a frenemy type vibe. Meanwhile, this person, this card just tried to come out a minute ago, and I'll put it back. And here it goes again, because it's some sneaky ass energy. So trying to befriend you. Meanwhile, this person technically talking about you behind your back, um, and heavy, heavily in your business, um, stealing, betrayal. They may have said you stole something, or they may be trying to steal something for you from you. Um, dealing with a situation that's not working for you anymore. So me and you are no longer friends. I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to be your partner. It could be over a man or a man situation or could be over a female. Um, either way, we've got the emperor there. Power, rules, structure. Could be a grandfather or a boss because I did say something about work-related incident. So could be a boss that you're having this energy with. But meanwhile, again, y'all are on the same level. So even if this person is your boss, you probably know more than they do about the job, okay, or about the situation. Also, things that are hidden behind the scenes. Um... I'm, I'm hearing common sense like a person just definitely is not displaying common sense a person trying to be overbearing because like i said more energy of a power struggle i'm over top of you or i want to be the person who um people come to but again this person seems like they're trying to make a some type of um example out of you or something it's giving me overbearing that's what's giving me like you're trying to be overbearing you're doing too damn much i saw two cards i saw well we just gonna deal with the one that's here um new beginnings creative sparks fertile ideas and upsurge of optimism creativity and enthusiasm new ideas or passion for something else listening to your intuition like i said also like an aha moment so a new fresh start you got two cards basically saying a fresh start to me it's giving me um the guide the way that it's supposed to be is you opening up your own business or you going in your own direction if you already have your own business i feel like there's a person who is in competition with you y'all may have the same type of business you know uh y'all do the same thing 
and this person is in competition with you and maybe trying to steal, you know, your your business, your uh your clients maybe. And so that could be potentially what's causing a conflict, but a heavy situation and you figuring out, like I said, gaining some type of clarity as to what to do in this situation, because it's giving me the vibe that you honestly, Taurus, don't really too much care. You kind of laid back and you already know that, you know, your money's not going to stop or your situation's not going to stop because of what this person did. To me, it's giving me the vibe that you have quality work and you stand on that. But something about this is like the person talking about you, but maybe giving you bad reviews, maybe. I don't know. Or just trying to tell people like, you know what I'm saying? You don't use quality products on your, you know, uh, on your, uh, whatever you're selling or your, your materials are not great or, you know, just some type of bullshit, some type of, like I said, caddy type stuff. Either way, just trying to still take money from your pocket. But either way, Taurus, I feel like, you're going to overcome this, but you've been thinking about it, trying to figure out how to move forward into the next phase of building this thing bigger and better. And you're not really focused on what this person is doing. You're just focused on you, you are in competition with you. Okay, that's it. That's all. So Taurus, this is the reading. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you wish to donate towards my channel, all the links are in the description box below. Go with God.